Investorideas.com podcast. Good afternoon and welcome to another Investorideas.com podcast featuring cannabis news, stocks to watch, as well as insights from thought leaders and experts. This month's podcast is brought to you by our exclusive content partner, CLS Holdings US Incorporated, trading on the OTCQB as CLSH, a diversified cannabis company operating as Cannabis Life Sciences and an integrated cannabis producer and retailer in Nevada through its Oasis Cannabis subsidiaries with plans to expand into other states. Today we'll be looking at announcements from GB Sciences Incorporated, trading on the OTCQB as GBLX, Gabriella's Kitchen Incorporated, trading on the CSE as GABY, Harvest One Cannabis Incorporated, trading on the TSX Venture as HVT, and Choom Trademark, trading on the CSC as CHOO, and the OTCQB as CHOOF. First, looking at GB Sciences Incorporated and the Universidad de Sevilla, or USC, who announced the filing of a provisional patent application on the creation of myrcene-containing nanoparticles for use in the treatment of neuropathic pain. We have achieved a significant research milestone the creation of the myrcene-containing nanoparticles that are at the core of our patent-pending myrcene-based complex mixtures for the treatment of neuropathic pain, said Dr. Andrea Small-Howard. Our colleagues at the Universidad de Sevilla had to overcome serious physical and chemical challenges to stabilize the very small myrcene molecules that are prone to evaporating. USC is also creating nanoparticle versions of other compounds in our myrcene-containing complex mixtures, However, these other terpenoids and cannabinoids should not be as challenging because they are bigger, and USC has discovered ways to stabilize small molecules like myrcene. Back in October of 2017, GB Sciences Incorporated entered into a contract research agreement with the Universidad de Sevilla to develop a time-released version of GB Sciences' proprietary THC-free myrcene-based chronic pain formulations, which contain a mixture of terpenoids and cannabinoids. USC researchers have created a prototype of the myrcene-containing nanoparticles, and GB and USC will begin functional testing of these formulations. Looking next at Gabriella's Kitchen Incorporated, an innovative and leading-edge cannabis wellness company who announced it submitted an application to have its common shares quoted on the OTCQB venture market and its intention to seek the Depository Trust Company eligibility. The listing of the company's common shares on the OTCQB remains subject to the approval of the OTCQB and the satisfaction of applicable listing requirements. The company believes that being listed on the OTCQB will expand the company's presence in the U.S. and provide current and future U.S.-based shareholders with greater access to and ease of trading in Gabby's shares. The company will continue to trade on the Canadian Securities Exchange under the existing symbol GABY. Admission to the OTCQB is part of our long-term strategy to introduce the company to a broader range of institutional and retail investors in the U.S., stated Margot McAuliffe, Gabby's founder and CEO. We have established a strong operating base in the U.S., which includes products available in over 3,400 major retail locations, our cannabis manufacturing facility, and our cannabis and mainstream distribution networks. By providing U.S. investors with the opportunity to easily invest in Gabby through our OTCQB listing, we fulfill yet another step in executing our strategy of becoming the category leader in the global cannabis edibles and wellness space. Looking next at Harvest One Cannabis Incorporated, who announced it's completed its previously announced acquisition of 100% of Israeli-based Phytotech Therapeutics Limited from Australian-based MMJ Group Holdings Limited. In consideration of the acquisition of PTL, Harvest One paid $1 million in cash and 8,300,000 Harvest One common shares. Founded in 2014, Phytotech has developed advanced oral delivery formulations for cannabinoid-based prescription drugs and holds an exclusive worldwide licensing agreement with Yassim Research Development Company, the commercial arm of the University of Jerusalem for the proprietary lipid nanotechnology. With the acquisition, Harvest One's wholly owned subsidiary, Satafarm, will gain access to advanced patents in favorable jurisdictions that can be used to further R&D and product development to aggressively pursue the rapidly evolving cannabis oils market. PTL was also responsible for administering the successful clinical trial using Satafarm's proprietary capsules. The Phase 1 clinical trials demonstrated the safety and high performance of the oral capsule technology, including the effective delivery profile of CBD, while Phase 2 clinical trials were completed in 2017, returning favorable results in the treatment of pediatric epilepsy. And finally, looking at Chun Trademark, an emerging adult-use cannabis company that has secured one of the largest national retail networks in Canada, announced that it's acquired Clarity Cannabis Medical Center, Inc., and affiliates doing business as Clarity Medical Centers. Chris Bogart, President and CEO, states our goal is to build a dominant national cannabis retail brand. The acquisition of Clarity Medical Centers allows Chum to service the entire Canadian cannabis market beyond just the adult-use channel. 
As cannabis becomes more widely accepted as an alternative to pharmaceuticals, increasingly patients with medical conditions will require professional medical advice on the benefits and best use of cannabis as a treatment. The acquisition includes five new medical centers along with a proprietary telemedicine platform that provides important education, access, and expertise for referring patients and the use of cannabis for medical purposes. The Clarity Medical Center's approach makes it simple for new patients to access legal medical cannabis products in Canada and streamlines the process of registering with a licensed producer. This podcast is in partnership with feature sponsor CLS Holdings U.S. Incorporated, trading on the OTCQB as CLSH. More info and details can be found at our disclaimer and disclosure page at InvestorIdeas.com. That's all for today's podcast. Podcast is now a certified word trademark on the blockchain through Cognate Incorporated CM certification. InvestorIdeas.com podcasts are also available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and TuneIn. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor of this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website, and this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded that all investments involve risk and possible loss of investment. Investor Ideas does not condone the use of cannabis except where permissible by law. Our site does not possess, distribute, or sell cannabis products.